You are watching Bhavishya and I am your host AP. Friends, today we are going to discuss about the LVDT experiment that means Linear Variable Differential Transducer. Uh, let's see the requirement of uh, LVDT that means the Linear Variable Differential Transducer. This is movable core which range is uh, plus 25 mm to minus 25 mm and the null position is at uh, 0. So, you can see here it's placed at the 0. Now, uh, this core is connected with the LVDT kit and rest of all you can see the connecting ports for AC and DC observation. So, first for uh, AC observation connection, let's see the connection for AC observation. So, first of all, connect this red with red, red port with red port and green port with a green. Connect with this with the connect this uh, green with green and uh, here B is connected with blue means this blue is connected with the blue. So, and this A and C. This A and C port is using for the AC output. Now you, you can use this uh, CRO for the output. So connect one port of a CRO for uh, AC output and, and another port of the CRO for the input. That this input and output wave required for the phase shift. So this other port is connected with A and C which provide us uh, output. So let us connect it, it is connected you can see here. Now uh, let us switch on this and this is the amplitude adjuster and by switching this you can observe uh, beautiful input and uh, output wave on the CRO screen. So, remember one thing sometimes this output is not observed because you should before for that you should know what is the theory behind it. So, before going to perform this experiment go through the theory and here you can see that by adjusting this amplitude knob your uh, output is changes so if sometimes your out you observe that there is a distortion in your output wave so vary this amplitude knob and adjust according to you now if you know how to use this CRO, then you can determine the phase shift and for AC part this phase shift is very important because the graph is depends on this phase shift. This are for AC part when you read the theory you will find that uh, your graph is differ with 180 degree. So, here you can see um, by varying this displacement your output is also varying and it is exactly differ by 180 degree. So, see you can see here clearly and take this observation for by varying this displacement you can take the observation for AC. See you can see very clearly by varying this displacement the output is changing. So, here this is input wave and this is for the output wave and now let see the connection for the DC. 
remember one thing for uh, DC uh, nothing you have to do just keep the all connection as it is just remove the CRO because we don't have need of this CRO and just connect this AC part as the input of uh, DC part so you can see here that we are till now we are taking this uh, AC output so by wearing 1 to 2 mm you can take the output for the AC part so which is now for the DC just you have to do one thing just connect this A with detector A this C with detector C and this B port with B now this all AC part become the input of this DC part and here the this both terminal DC output terminal should connected with DC input terminal so and this displayed you the output for DC input now here you can observe your output now by wearing this displacement you can clearly see your output is also very and similarly as you take in the output for this AC part you can note down the output for the DC part also and draw the graph this is very simple experiment you can perform it within half an hour so before performing this experiment go through the theory that's uh, beneficial for you that's it